while the energy just keeps coming in, it is so intense and you're probably experiencing a bunch of crazy ascension symptoms. I know that I am. This year, 2024, is unlike any other year in terms of my journey. You're probably feeling that as well. A lot of strange things happening. The Schumann has been just crazy off the charts. We've been getting, getting these solar um, X-class solar flares, all of this activity. It is giving rise to so much in terms of energy release, DNA activations, really experiencing old aspects of yourself that are coming up both physically and emotionally and mentally, that it really takes a keen sense of awareness to stay grounded. You could start to float out, get that floaty feeling, maybe get a little dizzy. That's a sign that you're becoming ungrounded. And if you're not aware of that, you could find yourself really hanging out up here etherically and losing uh, that connection with your body. And that just manifests all sorts of crazy symptoms. You're going to start to get body aches, right? Your body is trying to tell you that you are not focused or present in your body. You're off somewhere else. It's so important to not reach for the stars during this time. This is a purging healing process. This is a time for deep dive shadow work. So it's important that you bring your awareness back to the body throughout your day. I've been experiencing a lot of lower chakra purging, releasing, just dense energy coming up, a lot of lower back pain. So I've been working into it with some breath work and sitting and feeling it and constricting it, contracting it, because when we can focus into the muscles that are in these areas where we have stuck energy, we're actually infusing consciousness into there and it will start to vibrate at a higher frequency. So that will allow more of your high frequency light to move into these areas. That's what your body is showing you when you're feeling these aches and pains. Your higher self, your divine light is trying to move through these areas and it cannot get in there because it just lacks consciousness. It's like almost frozen, the energy. It's so dense. And what happens is it reflects out and we become aware of it through aches and pains. Again, your body is showing you you need to focus inward. That's where grounding and breath work and even yoga, if you do yoga, conscious yoga, kundalini yoga, yoga where you're really focusing into the body, that is going to help free up this stuck energy. Now, on the emotional side, you're probably having old aspects of you come out of nowhere, maybe old aspects of you, old identities that you haven't experienced in a, sometimes years are now rising up. Maybe you're finding some stress and some anxiety around things that maybe you haven't really been stressed about for a while, but yet here you go. This is an old aspect of you rising up. You see, as we create space within our body and all this light is helping us, these solar flares, right? The Schumann, everything that's happening is vibrating the environment faster and faster. So your body is trying to vibrate faster and faster. And in order to do that, it needs to release these old aspects. And these old aspects are programmed neurologically to physically take your body into a state that matches some sort of experience or trauma. So out of the blue, you may find yourself reverting back both emotionally and physically to an aspect of you that experienced trauma way back in your life. It doesn't matter if you don't remember what that incident or event is, that's not important, but your body is showing you. We had some situation at some point where we took something as truth that was maybe a little traumatic for us and we shrank and became this both emotionally and physically and that is rising up. So when you start to feel your heart rate jump a little bit, maybe your breathing gets a little shallow, you feel some stress, you feel some anxiety come up, maybe a little bit of fear, those are old aspects of you coming up and, and rising up to be seen, to be felt, to be processed. So again, we don't want to detach from the body and move into these aspects. We want to bring it back to the body, connect in with the root chakra, breathe into the root chakra, and remember that you are safe, that you in this moment have nothing to fear. And you connect with that energy in the presence of this old energy and you will actually transmute that density. You will feel your divine light move in through your root chakra. You will feel safe, you will feel secure, and that goes on up through the sacral, goes up through the solar plexus into the heart where you can really alchemize that energy 
and raise your vibration. So all of these things that are happening, yeah, they may make you feel a little chaotic, maybe a little out of sorts, maybe like you just don't know what's happening. Your ego is trying to predict some sort of future, like, is this life now? Like, what's happening? What's changing? Who am I becoming? These are all thoughts that you're going to experience with your ego, and they could bring up anxiety, right? It's trying to anticipate some sort of future, but realistically, we're leaning into the unknown. We're grounding our higher self. The more you can get present, the more you allow the space, create the space for your higher self to move in, and that process is leaning into the unknown. So release some of those expectations. Know that your future is not going to be a manifestation of your past. You're moving into new space. You're moving into higher frequency timelines. That should be exciting. Oftentimes, we can mistake fear for excitement. It's just a matter of perspective. When we're facing the unknown, fear will come up. Again, your ego will try to keep you safe. This is something that's unknown. It has to try to figure it out. What is it? But when you go deeper into that fear and you sit with that, you realize that it is exciting. It's an energy of excitement. It's an energy that is new. It's a new experience for you. You spent your whole life trying to get to this point where you are advancing and expanding your consciousness to reach into higher frequency fields and establish or ground or anchor higher frequency timelines. That's what you've been wanting to do. The mind will try to slow that process down or stop that process by bringing up fear. That fear is really excitement in disguise. So allow this process to unfold. Allow the new to come through. Allow yourself to lean into the unknown. Connect with the present moment. Know that you are safe. You are secure. You are free in this moment. That will allow you to continue to ground your higher frequency light, expand your consciousness, and start to move into higher dimensional fields and start to perceive the magic that resides within these elevated frequencies. It's such an amazing time. I know when things get really crazy and chaotic, know that you are being moved into the new and embrace that process, get into the flow, get present, and allow all of that to unfold. If you're feeling you're really, really struggling with this and you would like some assistance or at least some suggestions on how you can move forward with a little less fear, a little more confidence, some support, and some grace, feel free to click the link in the description for a free 15-minute call on Zoom with me. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.